Mary Liuzzo Lillibo was raised in Detroit, Michigan by parents Anthony James and Viola Liuzzo. Her childhood was that of a comfortable middle-class American family that some may even paint as storybook. On March 25, 1965, that storybook ended for Mary and her four siblings. Her mother, Viola Greg Liuzzo, only 39 years old, was murdered by the Ku Klux Klan outside Selma, Alabama. Mary was 17. In the days preceding her death, Viola Liuzzo witnessed the horrors of Bloody Sunday on her television set and felt compelled to heed Martin Luther King Jr.'s call for Americans to go to Selma to support the right to register and vote for all Americans. She was gunned down by a carload of Ku Klux Klansmen while driving the same highway she had marched on earlier that day. Liuzzo was the only white woman the Klan murdered during the Civil Rights Movement. Her death helped further the cause. Five months later, President Johnson signed the voting Rights Act. Mary spent years searching for answers to try to make sense of the loss of her mother. She decided to go to Selma to meet and talk with the people who were with her mother the last days of her life. What followed is Mary's life's work to tell the real stories in order to preserve and pass down the truth of the history-making change brought about by the nonviolent civil rights movement led by Dr. King and supported by American foot soldiers for justice and freedom. Mary marched across the Edmund Pettus Bridge for the first time as the guest of Mrs. Evelyn Gibson Laurie on her annual civil rights heritage tour, and she returned to be with Mrs. Laurie every year until Mrs. Laurie's last tour in 2013. Mary still returned annually to join those who commemorate the Selma voting rights movement. Mary has become a soldier in civil and human rights education and awareness, and she shares her knowledge and experience at events, schools, universities, churches, seminars, and conferences. Ladies and gentlemen, we salute Mary Liuzzo Lillibo.